Bank closings hit the highest in 20 years. This is in the U.S. Hey everybody, it's Jason here. You can call me JJ. You're watching Bull to the Bust. It is Sunday, December 20th, 2020. Thanks to everybody for joining in. Uh, happy holidays for those of you celebrating the holidays. And for those not celebrating, I hope you are doing well, staying cozy, staying safe. But here are going to be the uh, bullet points or the bullet points of the topics. Over 5% of all bank uh, bank branches have closed in the U.S. within the past four years. Now, we've seen a huge increase since March of this year. We all know what came out in March. Um, it's not just due to the illness. These are permanent closures. And is this a push for a more, more of a cashless society? Now, let me just elaborate on that. We're already in most mostly a cashless society. Uh, remember, we have discussed here on this channel of all currency, uh, all dollars, I should say, uh, less than 10% of those dollars are physical coins and cash. So we're over 90% uh, cashless already in digital. Uh, but could this be a complete phase out in physical cash and, and coins? Well, maybe, maybe not. But let's look at some of the information and uh, evidence and you let me know what you think. Recent article here. This is out of the realdeal.com. And this was re widely reported in many different publications. Bank branches closings hit highest level in two decades now think about the retail landlords all right a lot of these retail landlords are in big big trouble with all of the uh, the retail apocalypse that's been happening and now especially this year we saw a big uptick in uh, closures and stores that couldn't pay their rent uh, retailers going under all right and add this to the to the pile here uh, all of these bank closures and this article goes on to talk about more than 100 bank branches have closed or are set to close across just New York City alone this year. Now we have to add to this, a big part of this is the, the flight out of the cities into more rural and uh, more into suburban locations. Okay, but the closures are not just limited to big city locations. And that leads me to believe that something bigger is happening. Now we know there's been a push for more digital uh, more cashless society and there's a lot of different theories on why that's happening you know maybe you can let us know down in the comments what your theory is but let's focus on the facts and the evidence here and look at the enormity of all the bank closures boston25news.com citizens bank closing 26 stop and shop branches in massachusetts early next year so this is not just concentrated in larger cities uh, we see many branches closing in many different areas and this is just one bank this is just citizens bank in one state and for those of you that are thinking this is just because of the uh, the illness that came out this year well look at this a US bank closes eight Minnesota branches permanently and I'm seeing more and more reports of permanent closures so it's more than just about this illness uh, that came out this year uh, something bigger is happening absolutely I think it is a a more of a push for more people to become cashless and dependent on uh, digital transactions and uh, digital access to funds uh, to make a living and you probably know my thoughts on it I think that's very dangerous the more you're dependent on a digital platform uh, the more uh, danger there's gonna be because if there's ever an outage or a glitch as they like to call them glitches or if somebody just wants to uh, control you for whatever reason you know they can take these digital um, access take, take your digital assets away from the website or whatever it is you're using to get your funds another article here American bankers several banks disclose plans to permanently close branches so again the theory that this is just temporary because of the illness uh, that doesn't hold water uh, but yet we see articles like this out of payments.com uh, the illness casts more doubt on the future of bank branches right so the money's dirty right the money you shouldn't be touching it it's risky um, everyone needs to go digital right I mean what's next you're not allowed to touch gold and silver it might be dirty um, you're not allowed to go buy anything at a thrift store because it's old and it might be dirty you're only allowed to shop at Walmart and Home Depot right I'm just uh, projecting here alright but what what is next where does it stop what other kind of uh, restrictions or transformations are going to be happening here uh, in the very near future you let me know alright more evidence this is out of bankingdive.com 
Uh, the U.S. has lost over 4,400 bank branches since 2017, study finds. Right? And I'm also hearing more and more reports of people having trouble getting funds out of the bank. So we're seeing this um, cash shortage, and many branches are limiting withdrawals. So something bigger definitely is happening. All right? And I've said here many times, I think in the next few weeks, uh, by the end of January or sooner, we're going to um, start seeing huge revelations on what we might uh, expect to see here in the years going forward here. And I think uh, many of us here, viewers of this channel, uh, think something not so good or something um, uh, pretty scary could be coming down the road very, very soon. Uh, of course, we'll have to wait and see and prepare as much as possible. Okay, also you have to add into the equation that uh, the enormity of the job losses since the shutdowns began uh, back in March. Uh, you have less people getting paychecks, less people uh, needing banks. And uh, this could be more evidence that UBI is on the way where the Fed or the Treasury, in this case, may deposit funds right into your uh, checking account digitally. And you don't need to go to a branch because you get the funds digitally. You go out and spend it digitally because you're swiping a card. And then think about all of the uh, retailers and just people trying to sell things um, with cash, right? Uh, your yard sales, your uh, swap meets and flea markets. Uh, people have their own uh, fruit stands and people selling fruit. Uh, we have people here in California. Uh, they sell fruit on the side of the road. They sell flowers on the side of the road. People just trying to, you know, a lot of times just trying to scrape by and just get a few extra dollars and just get some cash. Uh, and now it's going to be impossible for a lot of these people when you eliminate cash. They don't have a, a credit card uh, machine, you know, on the side of the road selling their, their avocados and their apples and oranges. All right, so this is going to cause a lot more stress uh, for a lot more people. And again, a lot of these people just barely scraping by. So I don't think this is good at all. Uh, I think that uh, people in general need more options as far as bartering, trade, uh, buying and selling goods, uh, more options besides just a digital currency where you're controlled uh, by the grid, essentially. All right, let's talk about uh, some of your uh, comments here, some of your opinions and your views. This is out of Jordan Fields, and these are going to be uh, on the topic of what we're talking about today, cashless, uh, branches closing, things like that. Jordan Fields, the switch from fiat currency to digital is going to happen in the next few months Major corporations also uh, already rather transferring billions into Bitcoin and altcoins. Get ready for the fourth industrial revolution and the great reset. So this is talking about the uh, the tap down push for the uh, cashless society and the great reset uh, where they say you will own nothing and you will be happy. Uh, you will be completely dependent on the system. They're calling it the fourth industrial revolution and a complete economic transformation. And we know that the huge run-up in altcoins and digital uh, assets, uh, a lot of these are corporations. And like he says right here, corporations are uh, getting ready for the big switchover. And instead of, ha instead of having their funds sitting there in cash, uh, a lot of them moving into uh, digital assets and, and uh, altcoins, uh, cryptos. Here's another good one, really good one here out of John Smith. JJ, just to show how lame our banking system is, I just realized a link between what we're seeing here in my city and Fed policy. Bank branches are closing all over the place. Why do I think? When the Fed ended the repo crisis by eliminating reserve requirements for banks, they eliminated the need for banks to maintain retail services as well. The banks do not need retail deposits anymore to make money. Bye-bye, bank branches. And that's the end of his comment. And uh, yes, he's talking about the reserve requirement. You, If you've been on this channel, you know that banks no longer have to have any reserves in order to continue lending out money. Money that doesn't exist, that they type up and uh, digitize out of thin air. Right. So it's not just the Fed creating currency, as many people talk about, or printing money. It's the branches are loaning out money into existence. Right. So they're putting debt uh, they are creating debt and putting that those funds into the economy, into the system. And what is happening, since they no longer need money in reserves, 
uh, the incentive is being taken away for banks to have branches. So why try to get people to deposit money into their savings accounts and checking accounts if you no longer need deposits in order to lend out money? You see what I mean? So this uh, fiat currency is getting more and more leveraged, more uh, pushed out more further into the stratosphere of, of debt and lending with fewer and fewer restrictions. And that's why I've been saying uh, kind of a catchphrase I've been using here for uh, years now is the banks are getting more and more unleashed and deregulated. All right, so John, I think he broke it down pretty well. He's tying in the reserve requirement being eliminated to the closing of the bank branches. They no longer need your cash in order to continue to loan out uh, endless amounts of money. All right, here is a comment. Rudy Lopez from Los Angeles, he says the following. Here in Los Angeles, many Bank of America branches closed. I visited a big branch and tried to withdraw $40,000, but they only let me withdraw $5,000. Crazy. Something is going down. Be prepared, everyone. Absolutely. Uh, think about uh, what these people are saying here. Uh, thank you to everyone that uh, participates on this channel, leaving comments like this and all of your views and uh, feedback uh, and encouragement. It all adds to the conversation. And uh, I'm like a lot of you. I'm just trying to figure out this uh, myself to try to figure out how to navigate these waters. And um, just read down the comments and you're going to get a lot of valuable information down there. Uh, thank you to everyone again for participating, for your feedback. Uh, on this on this video today, please let me know what you think down below about these comments, about the evidence, the brink, uh, the bank, <laughs> keep saying brink, the bank branch closures. And uh, let's try to sort this out and figure this out, people. Uh, thanks for watching this report. Everybody stay safe, stay well, stay prepared. Uh, bye for now. Peace.